Are you friends with me? Do you want us all to be friends? Let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll see if we can set up a, a coffee date or something. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Plastic Soul, the entertainment earth pop culture show. I'm your host, Jason Lindsay. People say to me all the time, hey, Jason, don't you know that guy Alex Ross? Guy that does comic books, apparently he can draw. I say, yeah, I know him, what's it to you? And then they say, well, how do you know him? I say, well, I'll tell you, it's a long story. Way back when, before you were born, when I decided to start a toy company in between <laughs> jobs, um, one of the first licenses I wanted to get was Flash Gordon. Next was probably Big Lebowski. Um, I had just started to kind of make some preliminary calls to King Features to see about getting the rights. They thought Universal had the rights. Universal thought they had the rights. That went on for a long time. Meantime, there was another license that I had tried prior that was just about to launch. Well, at least the announcement was going to happen at Comic-Con that year. And so while I was down there, I happened to look across the field if you will, down at Comic-Con, and I saw the Alex Ross booth, and I remembered, oh yeah, his logo looks like the Flash Gordon movie logo. Flash Gordon is his favorite movie of all time. I learned that from Wizard Magazine. I thought, what could it hurt to maybe go over and see if he's there, or talk to his manager, or someone connected to him, and see about maybe collaborating on these movie action figures. I know he's a big fan, I know he collects toys. What could it hurt? What's the worst that could happen, right? Right, well, it all worked out because made the connection, eventually started talking to Alex, and um, we became collaborators on the Flash Gordon figures that we did. The figures we did were Ming and Flash, and we had variants on each of those, but there wasn't a lot of source material. We didn't get much from Universal. We got nothing from King Features, so Alex was kind of our, our eyes on this thing. He basically drew up designs for both characters as figures, kind of in his, his style which then went to the sculptor to make the prototypes, and the rest is kind of history. We actually put them into a little booklet as we were launching the second wave of figures that we did, and had this as a giveaway down at Comic-Con when we were selling the next wave of, of figures. It's really fun. Anyway, we became friends because it turned out that we had a ton of stuff in common besides Flash Gordon. We had a lot of music in common, a ton of movie loves in common, TV shows. We, we kind of grew up in these parallel lives, clearly, his is much more successful and much more talented. But um, we, we really did like a strange amount of things that we were kind of both obsessed with. Queen, The Beatles, David Bowie, The Monkees, etc. But the day that it really clicked for me in a conversation with him was when I mentioned the small faces. And I didn't have to explain who they were. He knew who they were. You just didn't meet a lot of people in America that knew who the small faces were. This guy knows music. He's really a fan, uh, deep dives, on music, and we just became friends. So we have these epic phone conversations. He's one of the few people I know that still likes to talk on the phone. I won't tell you how long the phone conversations are, but we have a lot of them. And we've met a couple of times over the years. Once was in Vegas for the um, Love show in Vegas, the Beatles show. He did some uh, exclusive uh, prints uh, to coincide with that, and they had a launch at the gallery. Got down for that, got to see him there. And uh, you know, we talk every few weeks and just cover all the pop culture bases. But also over the years, he's given me a lot of books, uh, you know, compilations of things that he's done, coffee table books, etc. And he started to develop a little bit of a habit of um, writing something interesting in the dedication. You know, some of them, some of them are about how much he admires me. Some are about stature, like what a giant he thinks I am as as a human. Uh, some of them are sort of jealous rants. They have to do with height. I don't know what that is. And some are just a little too tawdry to show here, but I'm gonna show them anyway. Like this little booklet, even the cover of this, Jason, you complete me, Alex. And I don't think he's being sarcastic, frankly. He actually stuck me in one of his comic books. You know, all those little cameos he puts in books. I'm in one of those too. It's a one-off comic that was done as a bit of a sequel to Marvel's uh, many, many years later. And I'm there in a crucial point in the story. I think my character really is the turning point in the entire issue. You pick it up and decide. Here's some pictures so you know which one it is. And if you want to send them to me, I'll happily sign them for you. 
So needless to say, he gets a little creative in his dedications, and I love every bit of it. Makes him so much more unique than just best wishes, Alex. This way, I definitely know they came from him, because no one else would sit down to write that stuff. Anyway, there's some fun little background on me and my pal Alex Ross and how we became friends through Flash Gordon, but learned about each other and our likes and our loves and learned so much more along the way. It's a pretty, pretty special friendship. It's like Pooh and Tigger or Lennon and McCartney if they didn't write songs. Anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that. Uh, enjoy the pictures. Nobody gets to see these things. I thought it would be fun to to show them off. And uh, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like Alex Ross's stuff? Are you friends with Alex Ross? Are you friends with me? Do you want us all to be friends? Let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll see if we can set up a, a coffee date or something. And also don't forget to sign up for the Entertainment Earth email newsletter to stay up to date on all of your pop culture needs. They won't let you down. Maybe even you will get a cool little Flash Gordon Biff Bang Pow booklet like this with Alex Ross drawings in it someday you play your cards right anyway i'm gonna go back and look through all those books and get a warm feeling see you soon